Hello, this is your lucky sir. In this session, we will go with zero order reactions, chemical kinetics, class 12. What do you mean by zero order reaction? What is zero order reaction? Very simple. If R is gives rise to P, that means reactants are converted to products. Then, if you are writing the reaction as rate is equal to K into R to the power zero, that means it is not depending on the concentration. The rate is not depending on the concentration of reactants. Then that is called zero order reaction. Examples kya hai? H2 plus Cl2 gives rise to 2 HCl in the presence of light. If you remove light, no reaction. So it is depending on light. That's why it is zero order reaction. Otherwise, 2 ammonia decomposition to give you N2 and H2. This is again decomposition on platinum surface. Or you can go for HI decomposition, 2 HI decomposition gold surface, H2 plus I2. All these you can consider as zero order reactions, examples for zero order reactions. Fine. That means the reaction is not going to depend on the concentration of reactant. The rate is not depending on the concentration of the reactants. Fine. So, what we can write from this expression? A rate is equals to k r to the power 0. And we know r to the power 0, something to the power 0 is equals to 1. Fine. Something to the power 0 is equals to 1. Rate in place of light you can write minus dr by dt is equal to k now because r to the power 0 is equal to 1. Rate we can write as minus dr by dt. Correct. Change in concentration. Reactant, na? so decreasing. That's why we are keeping minus there. Minus dr by dt is equal to k. Or we can write this expression as dr is equals to minus k dt. Correct. On integration, when you go for integration of this expression, it will become r is equal to minus kt plus i where i is called integration constant i is integration constant you will be learning about this in your mathematics again i belong to biology so mujhe utna jyada integrations ke bare mein pata nahi hai but uh, what is required for chemistry that much i know right so r is equal to kt now i want to go with t is equals to 0 T is equal to 0 means the reaction is yet to start. The reaction yet to start means the concentration of reactants can be taken as R0, where R0 is initial concentration. Got it? When T is equal to 0, R is equal to R0. And this now I am substituting in this expression. So how it is going to change? In place of R, I am going to write R0 now. R0 is equal to minus K time 0 time plus i means i is equal to r naught correct now i value i am going to substitute in this expression therefore in this expression i value i am going to substitute so r is equal to r is equals to minus kt plus i in place of i you can write r naught correct Yes, that's it. Now, kt, if I am writing this side, it will become r naught minus r. Or k is equal to r naught minus r by t. This is called integration rate equation for zero order. k is equals to r naught minus r by t. Where R0 is initial concentration, R is concentration at T time, T is time. In majority books like GRB publications, Arihan, Singage and all these, we generally see K is equal to C0 minus CT by T. Meaning is same. C0 is initial concentration. CT is concentration at T time, T is time. You can write anyway. Coming to one more point here that is important, half-life. Half-life means exactly half of the substance is done. Half-life is given by T half. Means T is equal to T half. 50% is done. So concentration is also 50% done. Okay, now that means R is equal to R naught by 2. R naught is initial concentration by 2. 
r will become r naught by 2 when t is equals to t half. Now, this if you are going to substitute in this expression, then that will become k is equals to r naught is r naught minus r is r naught by 2. t is t half r naught minus r naught by 2 is nothing but r naught by 2 right so 1 minus 1 by 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 so t half will become now you can write t half is equals to r naught by 2k and this expression in general in our books in majority books we write as t half is equals to a by 2k where a is initial concentration k is rate constant and you can say t half is directly proportional to a when t half is directly proportional to a that is zero order reaction when t half is directly proportional to a you can call it as zero order reaction fine here we have a graph for example t half and a if you take the graph line will be like this because it is directly proportional fine one more graph will take uh, one more graph which one will take r versus time concentration versus time if you take the slope will come like this negative slope will be there minus k and the intercept is r naught intercept is r naught slope is minus k when you are taking r versus time graph this e is for zero order reaction zero order reaction examples zero order reaction uh, integrated form and all these are mentioned here Okay, now. and what you can say is if T 50 percent is 2 minutes, then T 100 percent will be 4 minutes. That is 1 is to 2. If 50 percent is done in 1 minute, 100 percent will be done in 2 minutes. That is the specialty of zero order reaction. Okay, if T 50 percent is and T 75 percent when someone is asking, then this is 1 and this is going to be 3 by 2 or you say 1.5. See, 50 percent, this is this will be completely different when you are going for the first order reactions. So, this is exclusive for zero order reactions. Chemical kinetics, zero order reaction. If you know all these points, job done. Thank you. This is your lucky sir.